Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. First, I need to put about b equals to this one. And q equals to this one. So we have the s. That means we need to do first the derivative of b with respect to y. So we do first the derivative of y to the power of 3. We have 3y square and we have e to the power of 3sy. Later that, we do first the derivative of e to the power of 3sy. So we have 3s e to the power of 3sy. Because if we do first the derivative of this one, we keep the same 3 uh, e to the power of 3sy. Later that, we do first the derivative of 3sy you got 3s. This one, that is about the constant. So you got 0. Now we need to simplify. Next, we have dy. So we need to do first the derivative of q with respect to s. So we do first the derivative of this one. And we have 3y e to the power of 3sy. The next one, we have s. So that is about number 1. Later that, we do first the derivative of e to the power of 3sy. And we have 3y. Now, we need to simplify. This one, we have 6y to the power of 2. This one, number 3 and number 3. We have number 9 y square and y, we have y to the power of 3. And this one, we have number 9, y square e to the power of 3sy. And we can see that this one is same to this one. So that should be about exact. Now, I need to set up about the function fsy equals to the integration. So, I need to choose about this one. Plus 3sy. So, because this is about ds, so we can do only the integration of e to the power of 3sy. So this one, we have e to the power of 3sy over 3y. Because if we do first the derivative of this one, we have 3y e to the power of 3sy. That's why we need to have 3y in here. The integration of number 1, we have s. This one divided by this one. So we have y square e to the power of 3sy. Next, we need to do first the derivative of f with respect to y for the both sides. So this one, we have 2y. 
this one we have 3s y square e to the power of 3s y this one that is not y so you got 0 and we know that this one equals to this one now we simplify for the both sides and we got zero later that we we put the integration for the both sides and we got about c now we go back in here the integration of this one we have 3sy so 3sy we change by c and we know that this one we change by fsy fsy equal to c now we can simplify like this next we have conditions that means when s equals to number 0 y equals to number 1 so I will put number 0 cone here number 0 cone here number 1 cone here and number 1 cone here so this one we have number one this one we have number one so we have c equals to number one and now we put number one going here and this is the final answer that is the end thank you for watching here is about the full answer of the question in here